Hi today from the endlessness of the seas. I am on a large vessel with the fancy name Celebrity Silhouette. Today I will tell you how Pareto Principle supports those who think big. You certainly know Pareto Principle, but today I will tell you how it can help you to think big. You certainly have heard about Pareto Principle. What is Pareto Principle about? It is often referred to as an 80-20 rule. It means that with 20% of work you can achieve 80% of the results. It means that 80% of your revenue are made by 20% of your customers and the rest 80% customers provide for only 20% of your revenue. It means also that 20% of your projects are responsible for 80% of your revenue or of your profits and so on and so on. This is due to the so-called normal distribution in the theory of statistics and it doesn't need to be actually 80-20, it can be 10, 90%, maybe 85 15 it depends on the situation it depends on the market it, it depends but in order to understand it and to simplify my arguments we will assume now we deal with 80 20 rule with 20 80 distribution and now what many people don't know about Pareto principle is that it actually works recursively. What does it mean? It means that if your 20%, if 20 percent of your customers are responsible for 80 percent of your revenue, you can also analyze days 20 percent and it, in that situation if you take 20 percent of this 20 percent it means altogether 4 percent of your customers they are responsible for the 80 percent of the 80 percent means 64 percent of your revenue so for 20 percent of the customers are responsible for 80 percent of your revenue but your top four percent of your customers are responsible for 64 percent of your revenue and then when you go one step further and take 20 percent of this four percent you end up with 0.8 percent let's simplify it and let's say one percent of your customers are responsible for 80 percent of 64 percent means 51 percent of your revenue so your top one percent of your customers are responsible for 51 percent of the revenue so you see when you focus on the best you can really accelerate your growth, you can maximize your uh, profits and so on and so on. But there is much more to that. And how does it relate to thinking big? It has a lot to do with thinking big. When I was talking to 25 self-made billionaires for my book project, one of my epiphanies was that there is not that much competition on the top. It means if you have really big projects, if you do really big things, there are not many other people who, who dare to do that. And you compete only with these people. Let's say your project is a big project and it requires a lot of capital, a lot of investment. It is under 1% of top projects of the biggest project, projects in your industry. What does it mean? As I explained before, it means that for, the, for this top 1% in that industry, 50% of budget is available. All the other 99%, they compete for the other 50% of the, of the full market, of the full budget of that industry. And now to simplify again, let's assume this, this is a $100 billion industry, right? So 
you and your competitors in the top 1% of the top 1% biggest projects, you compete for 50 billion of that market and the other 99% of projects, they compete for the other 50 billion. And now let's assume again to simplify it, there are 10,000 projects in the market, in that industry. So 99% means 9,900 projects, they compete for 50 billion. It means on average they will get 5 million, each of these projects will get 5 million of, of the market, right? On average, so you can have bigger, smaller projects and you compete, but on average you will get 5 million from the market. Right? Your market share will be 5 million. What about if you compete with the big boys for 1%, right? If your project is under the top 1% of the projects in the industry, then you, you have out of 10,000, 1%, 100 competitors who compete for 50 billion, which means on average you will get 500 million for your project. And it is up to you which project you want to run for. Do you run for a project, a small project or one of the biggest projects in your company? Right? Now you understand what it is important to think big because then Pareto principle, a mathematical principle works in your favor. And about the other advantages you have by thinking big, you can hear in my another video uh, I will put a link here and probably uh, under under the video in the in the video description. And of course, I, for every billionaire I have interviewed, I could give you tons of examples. But two examples should be should be enough for today. Sai Dong King, whom I have interviewed in China for the book, he is called the Walt Disney of China. He has a built a multi-industry company in toys in animation in games everything about entertainment is about Sai Don King as and part of his imperium is a TV network an entertainment TV network and now you can answer yourself the question how many people you know who owns a TV network they are probably not that many, especially in a local market, let's say in, in China, you, you compete only against a handful of people with such uh, projects. So of course there is the competition is fierce, but the market is divine, divide between a handful of people. And if you do small scale business, you compete with all the other small scale, small scale businessmen and you get the crumbles from the table. Another example is Navin Jain, one of the most outrageous billionaires I know. He built a spaceship in order to go to moon and mine the moon. So how many people, how many companies do you know who actually build spaceships in the world? And how many of these companies are about to mine natural resources from the moon and possibly other planets from the space. How many, uh, how many people are there around? They aren't that many. And if this industry turns out to become a multi-billion dollar industry, maybe multi-hundred billion dollar industry, all that wealth will, will be concentrated in the hands of these few people, of these few companies. So these are the advantages of thinking big. And now I am talking to you about that today. Because I am on a cruise ship, a large cruise ship celebrity silhouette. And it is really huge. If you, if you thought Titanic would be the largest ship ever built or the largest ship in the history, you are mistaken. This ship is much large, larger than Titanic. I will show you a, a graphics, a picture comparing um, Titanic to Queen Mary. And so you, you see 
like Queen Mary is much much bigger ship than Titanic was and this ship I am on is even bigger than Queen Mary to comparison Titanic had seven decks this ship I am on has 17 decks and here are three swimming pools they are around 20 restaurants and, and bars and 3,000 guests can be accommodated here and now when you come together this is a really big business I didn't have to pay anything for my stay here because I was invited but the operator demands around four thousand dollars for a cabin for a week so if you end up the numbers together together you will end up with a number of 300 million dollar revenue in a year with such a ship and the company Royal Caribbean owns over 40 ships like that the total revenue of that company is is eight billion dollars and they have profits around 750 million dollars a year so this is a really big business thinking big and this inspired me to tell you how you can profit from doing big things and how you can profit from mathematic law of Pareto principle in the last several days in the last five days I have visited five uh, countries with that vessel a great experience I recommend it to you to try it and as you see there, there is a lot to do also on the vessel but outside every day you are in a different uh, port in a different harbor in a different country I hope this advice could help you if you like the advice and you would like to learn more about how most successful people in the world think how self-made billionaires think and act subscribe here and here you will find one of my best videos and here you can get updates on my upcoming book about billionaire thinking that's it thank you and see you from celebrity silhouette